techie one. That's the scary thing. Hello, everybody. Saturday night. Saturday night. Saturday night. Saturday night. And it's 8.01. We're a minute late. Oh, well, you know. Because of my techiness. Your techiness. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's okay. We'll keep you around anyway. Really? Yeah. For tonight. We may not keep our son around, though. <laughs> yeah. First, sugar needs. Hey, how are you doing? First. Second. Yes, she was first. First. Into the chat. Oh, yes. first in line? Yes. So I got to wave. Yes, wait. So we're not going to wave things now. Hey. It's going to be one of those guys. I just noticed the wave. Things are not coming up. Uh, oh, there's, see, there's, there's one. one. Oh, I got to wave now. The wolf says, happy Sunday morning. Or hello Sunday morning. It's daylight savings time, too. That's right. It is daylight savings time. So not now, but when we're done, you should turn your head. Turn your head? Oh, yay. I've been waiting. I'm here with the thunder. Anne's here with the oh. thunder. It's our favorite song. You guys are awesome. I missed the two, last two days. Missed you guys. Well, we're glad you're here tonight. We're super excited to be here tonight. Right? I don't know anymore. Is this your super excited face? It should be. Let's you see your super excited face. Mm-hmm. That's it. Hey, ja Jazz Productions, how are you tonight? Everybody having a good day? Did you have a good day? Hmm. I cleaned the kitchen. You did clean the kitchen. I scrubbed the kitchen. Yes, you did. It needed Scrubbied. it. Scrubbied. Hey, Cindy and Matt. Hey, Carl, how are you tonight? Um, I did some sourcing today. Did some listing today. That's about it. Uh, uh, two... Uh, 2 a.m. Hold on. 2 a.m. My hand's on fire. Been hell of a day. Uh, but got an amazing message from an eBay seller. Pick me up. That's awesome. That's awesome. Super excited. Botox face. There you go. <laughs> I did some sourcing. First sale on Poshmark. That's awesome. Oh, yay. Scrub daddy. Yeah. Scrub daddy. I was. Yeah. I was you were. Scrubbing. It was a good thing. It was a good thing. I was appreciative. Well, it wasn't a good thing for me. Well, you know. Oh, I also went and got groceries today, too. That's what else I did. You did get groceries. I knew I did something else. Mm -hmm. it seemed like I was busy today. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, good evening, Scarlett and May. Tonight, we're going to talk about... What are we talking about? Nothing in particular. <sighs> Sourcing, maybe. Sourcing opportunities? Sourcing opportunities. Yes. You're just kind of along for the ride, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Alrighty then. I made notes. I was on my computer. I was searching things. What'd you do? I set up the camera. <laughs> and the lights. Online gaming, Matt? And I turned the uh -huh. TV down. Yeah. I and was online gaming today. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I made notes, though, so we're all good. We're all good. So he can just come along for the ride. Yep. Without, without you, it would just be me just kind of standing and sitting here, smiling, <laughs> like the idiot that I am. Oh, you're not an idiot. Stop. Yeah. So did anybody else source today? Who else sourced today? Not you. Brianna went with me today. Yeah, I know. You guys got some stuff. We did get some stuff. Stop. You didn't get any clothes. No, I didn't even look for clothes. I never called it sourcing until I got Instagram. I'm old and called it picking. That's funny. Um, yes, look, other people, me. I got some hats. Awesome. Sourced at a flea market indoors. Ooh. Love that. No, tomorrow's half off day. Mm -hmm. Half off day kind of scares me ever since that lady tried to kill me with her cart. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't sourced in a week. I may cry. Hopefully that means that you've been listing all of this stuff, though, that you have laying around. Yeah. Because you got to get that stuff listed. Doesn't do you any good with it laying around. That's right. Hey, Gina. Uh, made Posh Ambassador. Ooh, awesome. Ooh, ooh. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Hard goods. Yeah, I was really focused on Etsy hard goods today. So, I never buy vinyl albums, but got three strange albums. Oh, very cool. One small estate sale today, $14 for four items, but should make $150 from it all. Hey, that's that's fantastic. That's a good flip. Sourced on a local marketplace. Awesome. We're going to talk about that. Yes, Death Pile has been my jam this week. Mm -hmm. Love it. So let's start with where do most people source? If you are selling on eBay, where do most people source? The store. That's right. 
um, bins. Hung out with my sister, yay. Sourced a new wheel for my car. After fix failed, used foam stuff, it blew up in my face. Oh my gosh, I hope you're okay, Wolf. Um, Tommy Hilfiger basketball, awesome. So, where do most people source? The store. The store, the thrift store. The thrift store. Thank you, love to thrift and flip. You knew where I was going. The Goodwill thrift store. I did buy what from- What if you don't have a Goodwill? I did buy from Amazon to sell on eBay just now. Yeah, I've done that too. So we'll talk about that in a second. You're ahead of it. Um, so the thrift store. Mm -hmm. So your normal Goodwill, Salvation Army, Savers, Savers, Value Village, Family Thrift. Charity stores. Charity stores. Um, so that's kind of everybody's normal go-to. Mm -hmm. But if you're out and about in town and looking for used items, mm -hmm. other places to go. The thrift store. Habitat for Humanity resales. The Habit, Habit, Habitat for Humanity resale shops. I think they're they're called restores. Restores. Yeah, can't wait for yard sales. Yes, yard sales, garage sales, estate sales. Um, if you have not been to an estate sale in your area, restore. Yeah, that's what I thought it was called. Thank you, McBrother Ton. Um, I never heard of the Habitat store. Yeah, so Habitat for Humanity has their own thrift stores. Mm -hmm. Great stuff there. Um, you know, think outside of just clothing because there's a lot of stuff there that you can buy multiples then. Yeah, Habitat for Humanity generally deals with building products and tools. But you can find some really good stuff there. And they, they do sell, some of them do sell. We went to one up in Rockford. That had like a regular resale store in it, mm -hmm. and we got some really cool antique stuff at it. Auctions, yes, auctions. Um, but EstateSales.net is the website to find estate sales in your area. So go on there, check that out. Estate sales are great. Um, the estate sales by me are expensive. Never settle, okay. So if you, I'm gonna touch it. If the estate sales are expensive, then start to find out, start to pay attention to which state estate sales are expensive. There are different estate sale companies that run estate sales. Some of them are going to just overprice, period, because then they'll take the leftover merchandise to their next estate sale. Well, and it also depends on what day you go. If you go yes. on the first day... They're going to be really expensive. Yes. If you go on the last day, you yes. may not have the choice of items that you do, but they're going to be willing to wheel and deal on those items on the yes. last day because they want to get rid of as much as they can at that point. Exactly. Make the big, huge pile. Make the bundle. Mm -hmm. Say, I'll give you X amount for the entire lot of all of this stuff. You're going to get better deals that way. So know which estate sale companies are expensive, which estate sales just been being run by the family, those are some great ones. Check the things that other people aren't looking for at estate sales. Like? Like um, perfumes. Um, I don't know how you ship these, but old spray cans. Yeah, I saw that. Someone posted yeah, that. Those vintage spray cans. Did everybody see that here on Instagram? Oh, my goodness. Crazy, crazy money. I don't know how you ship them. Like 300 bucks for them. Yeah, so... Is everybody out in the garage looking at the old pile of empty spray cans? Probably not. So look at things that other people aren't looking at. You know, expand your knowledge so that you're not just looking at those expensive items that are shown in the pictures at the estate sale. Yeah, and I think vintage clothing. I think you can <laughs> you can have an opportunity of some vintage clothing there. Yeah. I yeah. think a lot of uh, people at the estate sales don't realize that the clothing's worth money. If it doesn't have a label, and that's... Mm. I sourced at the restore yesterday and also at a consignment store. Yes, very few th thrifts here to Goodwill is actually last on my list. Yes, I do wardrobe. Um, Craigslist, yes. Uh, Carl, absolutely. My estate sale companies are very high as well, yeah. Usually 50% off on the last day. I only go to estate sales on the last day. Sometimes they do fill a bag. I went to one guy, New Glass. He did no tools. Um... Our favorite place to source depends on the day of the week. Just 
razors, old disposables. Uh, what old kind pens. of pens? Old pens. Yeah, just look up spray cans. Old briefcases. On eBay and search them highest to lowest. You'll be shocked. You also can know what a particular sales company knows and doesn't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just because you went to one and it was really high, don't give up on them. Go to some different ones. Yeah, because they're going to have expertise in some areas, and some areas they're not going to know. Yeah, check Facebook, Craigslist, um, absolutely, and, and your local newspaper under garage sale section for estate sales. Sometimes they also call them moving sales or downsizing. Yeah, they throw... <sighs> I know, Bex Relics, you've told me they throw clothes. That just makes me so sad. Um, hey, frugal living. My husband puts down stuff before he knows it's worth anything. It drives me crazy. Old photographs, uh, slides, uh, postcards, old magazines that have advertisements in them. Old razors disposable, yes. Um, we were gifted opera tickets tonight. It starts in 20 minutes. Are you saving the life? Yes, we are saving it here and on YouTube. So, so you're going to the opera. <laughs> And you had to come live to ask if we're going to save it on YouTube. Important stuff! So if you're listening, Mama, you need to get better priorities in life. I'm sorry. Yeah, but I'm still mad at her for, for putting that earworm. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Roboto. Yes, Mr. Roboto. So, don't pass up the free stuff. I got free DVD, VHS combo players and sold them for over 100 bucks. Absolutely. The state sales that I've been to have no prices, and I hate that, too. I'll spend time picking things out, and then they quote me prices that are too high. And I lose but you know what? Lowball them. If they don't have prices on there... Low bomb. Yeah, and sometimes... I'll give, you, I'll give you 10 bucks for it a lot. Yeah, sometimes you have to walk away, and mm -hmm. that's okay, too. Um, that's why we have all of the CD auctions that are going up. We offered to buy everything. Mm -hmm. We knew that there were some pieces in there that we could make our money back on, and so then we lowballed and said, okay, we'll give you, you know, X amount of dollars for everything, knowing that that meant we were coming home with 5,000 CDs. But... We've sold them off, we've made money, and actually we probably paid for the entire estate sale buying CDs at the end of the day. But, so yeah, don't pass on that free stuff. We haven't sold them all. Oh, they're going to, they all have bags. I'm, um, st I'm still looking at them. They'll all be gone, they'll all be gone, I promise. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so don't, we're here, bye. Three. I'm late. What's the drinking game? The drinking game is, uh, you got to drink every time I say source, so there you go, get at it. <laughs> Make friends with the estate sale employees. Yes, remember, they are making money for themselves and their clients. Be kind, follow the rules. Absolutely, and Absolutely. Um, the more you go to the same estate sales run by the same people, the better discounts you get. So, so true. Hate CDs and DVDs. Oh, well, we totally agree with you. But I buy my clothing lots from Mercari. Spent $3,700 in three months. We're getting there, too. So those are your basics. You know, Goodwills, thrift stores, estate sales, kind of the ones everybody knows about, your basics, mm -hmm. where we all get started. We all go to the Goodwill and... Yeah, and those are going to be the ones that are most picked over as well, because everyone knows about them. Yeah. yeah. So, it's kind of a luck of draw. You mm -hmm. walk into a Goodwill and you may find Seven St. John's, or you may find nothing. Nothing. And that happens... That happens. All the time. Because in that same trip, you found Seven St. John's at one, and then another nothing. thrift store, we Literally left with nothing. Nothing, it was sad. So, it's the luck of the draw. Yeah. So, you got to kind of diversify your sourcing opportunities as well to be able to make money in this industry. Yeah, it used to be you could just go. Oh. <laughs> Sugar needs, if you put that drink up every time we say source, that's going to be the entire fee. We used to go sourcing. <laughs> And we'd fill two Carl shopping carts Dickens. full. Yes. Uh, did you go to Goodwill today in Chicago? It was 50% off of everything. No, did not go to it. Did we go to it? No, no we did not go to a Goodwill today. Do you guys have eBay local? I've been using it to find... I think that's a UK thing. Goodwills are overpriced, yes. I think I find St. John's every day. St. John's Bay. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so... Look outside of just your regular chain thrift stores. Look for your mom and pop run chain stores, the ones run for the animal shelter, those kinds of things. And then again, make friends with the employees. Absolutely. Uh, come late. Good morning, Natalie. Um, so once you've kind of gotten a hold of all of that, you've gone back to a store several times, 
If you go once and there's nothing, don't write it off of your list. Mm. You got to go back several times. Don't be like, oh, well, they just have crap and it's too expensive. Don't just write it off. Go back several times before you. And then a year later, try them again because you oh, never yeah. know. You never know what they're going to, maybe the manager changes or whatever. After we do that, we're still out in town. Out in town, like we live out in the boonies or something, like towns like down the street. But I have a friend who gets free furs from the animal rescue store. Oh, that's awesome. Ooh. My, Gina Marie, my employees didn't know about it, but they did honor the text message. Oh, very cool. Um, retail arbitrage. Mm -hmm. So you've gone to your Goodwills, you've gone to those places. Now you want to source some retail stores. So where do we go? Where do we go? Retail arbitrage. Where do we go? To the stores. To the stores? That sell retail. Uh-huh. Cheap retail. Mm, sometimes. Always, sometimes. Sometimes not. Where do we go? Like TJ Maxx or mm -hmm. uh, Marshall's is a good one. Mm-hmm. Walgreens clearance sales. Marshall's. Yeah, where do you guys go? Ross and get 49 cent dresses. Yes, Natalie. <laughs> that's yeah, the Burlington. Story. Yes. Target. Um, yeah, so that's actually one of the things I was writing down. So I have had some really great flips from Target mm -hmm. from their clearance aisles. And why is that? Because I'm cheap. No. And I know where all the clearance. No. Why? Because Target's not nationwide. Yes, it is, is. Isn't it Target? One of them... Meyer. No, no, no. You're thinking the Meyer. Sorry. Whatever. You don't shop all the way. Uh, Nor Turmeric. Yeah, my Goodwill's changing their system again five times last year, and now they only... Go oh, different sales deals. Um, so Target. I can never get clearance from Target. So here's the deal with Target. And I wrote it down, but if you Google Target clearance, um, like the dates, the schedules... Target clearance schedule, um, you can find when the different departments, when they lower those prices. Hmm. So Target doesn't lower their clearance throughout the entire store every Monday. So I just wrote them just a couple of them. Like, And generally speaking, yes, follow the hashtag Target clearance on Instagram also and see what people are posting. Generally, Mondays are electronics. Tuesdays are domestic women's clothing, Wednesdays are men's clothing, Thursdays are housewares, Fridays are auto. There's a whole list online. But go online, figure out, okay, um, it's Monday, this is what's going to be marked down today. Right. And then at the top of um, every Target clearance tag in the upper right-hand corner, there's a 30 or 50 or 70 or a 90. That's the percentage it's marked down. Yes, the 90% off. That's what we get excited about. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so knowing when that store is going to mark down those clearance items gives you that advantage then to being able to get those items. Uh, Toys R Us, yes, is 50% off here. So watch the news. Mm -hmm. Toys R Us has just filed bankruptcy. It's being reported they may close all of their stores. Um if they do, we will all be at Toys R Us. Mm -hmm. um, our clearance and target in a section. So anytime you shop a retail store for clearance, you always want to shop the perimeter. They're never going to put... Um, the clearance in the middle. Yeah, like right up in front of your face. You want to go to the outer perimeter. Mm -hmm. Popular items to buy to resell at Target. I have sold everything from... Um, plug adapters, like international plug adapters, mm -hmm. to baby items, to electronics. Floaties. Floaties. Slip and slides. Slip and slides. Yeah, all sorts of stuff. Baseballs. Yeah, I bought a bunch of baseball mitts one time. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so all sorts of stuff. Um, so yeah, shop the perimeter of your store. And not every good clearance item, not every clearance item is a good buy either. Oh, no. you got to research just like you research in a Goodwill. So yeah. don't think that you can just go into a Target and just or because it's 90% whatever. Off. Just because it's 90% off, I mean, it's a good buy. Got to research it. Because sometimes sometimes they're 90% off for a reason. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, sleeping bags, blankets, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Sometimes um, the auto parts mm-hmm. are good, like the oil filters, um, wiper blades. Yeah, all of that stuff. Target Deal Finder on Instagram posts clearance finds daily. They also have a Facebook group. They have people searching the stores every single day. That's crazy, Anne. That's absolutely crazy. Uh, but yeah, so follow here. Um, another good one to follow on Instagram is um, the coupon community. So hashtag coupon community, hashtag couponing. Because a lot of times you can do those coupon deals then and double up on things. Mm-hmm. And those coupons will apply to your, um, they aren't resellers, but crazy couponers. Um, uh, Jess, um, the Target, oh, what was the Target hashtag? Oh, my goodness. I, and it has left me. And what's the Target hashtag? Um, Items returned to Target from an online purchase are marked on low from the beginning. Finding those is like digging for treasure, yes. Um, so, absolutely, Target is fantastic. Then you have the Nordstrom Clear the Rack sales, mm-hmm. which are twice a year? Yeah, I think they're twice a year. Um, Again. Hashtag Target clearance for all of you asking. Not everything on the Clear the Rack is a good buy. Yes. Yes. Some of those items. Be careful. Yes, should be clear. Yeah, don't don't go in there and just buy everything and think you're going to turn a profit on it because a lot of that stuff is not profitable. Wasn't profitable for them. Yeah. Yeah. So um, we do that. Mm-hmm. The TG Maxx and Ross Marshalls they do their yellow tag clearance sales. Again, so if you're like, um, hmm, I wonder when those yellow tag. Uh, is Clear the Rack quarterly? It might be, Denim and Thrift. It might be. I sign up for emails. Sign up for those oh, emails, yeah. and then they'll just email you. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're not touching that comment. <laughs> just had a bad retail arbitrage this week from a local clearance or fake Levi's. Oh, that stinks. Everything I bought at the Clear the Rock Rack had the wrong size tags. Ooh, yes. And... Nordstrom's takes everything back. Everything. Yeah, you have to check it like it's a thrift store. Yes. Because there could be holes in it. Yes, and it will wind itself back up onto the floor. Um, yeah, Scarlett. We have our first troll. I think that means we've arrived. Um, <laughs> so, Woo-hoo. right? I love it. Awesome. Troll me. <laughs> so... Whenever, I learned that the hard way, bought too many 447 dresses and they're collecting dust. Yeah. Um, I will follow the hashtag yellow tag clearance. Whenever I'm like, hmm, I wonder when that that is going to be. And I'll go back through the post and I'll start to watch Mm -hmm. for about what date did people start posting their yellow tags clearance last time. Thank you, Denim and Thrift. I appreciate that. Um, Our Sears and our Yonkers are both closing, sad, but some great sourcing. So, yes, pay attention to your local news. What store yeah. is closing? You know, you're going to find great deals there. Um, outlet stores. If you have an outlet mall near you, it is owned by an umbrella company. So, Premier Outlets is one by us. Whatever it is, sign up um, for their emails. Sign up if they've got a rewards program, whatever. Um I just sold a dress, yay! Um, we um, have made some good buys at the outlet malls. Yes. Good buys. Because they'll also run like clearance sales at the outlet mall. So not only is it at the outlet where it's marked down, now they're even clearing it out for even lower. And a lot of times we have found um, if you shop those sales at your outlet malls, your clearance sales, that will actually be less than wholesale. Mm hmm. On those items, which yeah. we will get to wholesale. Shoes. You can get shoes at the outlet pretty cheap. Yeah. So, you know, if you're thinking wholesale, you might... I used to skip school. And... Oh, don't do that. From Claire's, yes. So Claire's just announced, uh, Tennessee Thrifter mentions, they just announced they are filing bankruptcy. So pay attention. I was just about to ask about outlet malls, yes. Would you say Lululemon at an outlet is still a bad buy? No. 
Absolutely. I would not say that at all. I would say Lululemon, if you have a Lululemon outlet near you, that's fantastic because there's not a whole lot of them in the country to begin with. But then you still have to know what styles are in. Got to research. Yeah. You know, because sometimes they wind up at the outlets because nobody wanted them. Yeah. So kind of one of the rules that we play with is if there's 10 of an item, then maybe that's because nobody wants it. But if there's one, then maybe, you know, and it's not a tried and, you know, it's not 100%, but that's kind of a quick tip that we go by. Um, so then, do the outlet malls advertise when they're closed? Yes. So go, your outlet mall should have a website, and that website then will show what stores within the outlet mall are having sales and what sales are coming up. Make friends with your store managers. Yes, I worked at the J. Crew outlet. My manager could call resellers to alert them of fine. Oh, yes, that's of cool. further markdowns. Yes. Um, yeah, because a lot of these stores want to get rid of this product, mm -hmm. and they don't care who buys it. Yeah. Because the store managers make a bonus on making uh, selling items and getting rid of old stocks. So yes, if you can be buddies with them, sometimes they may cut you a deal. If that yeah. stuff's been on clearance for a while and they need to just get rid of it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, is Lululemon a good make? I love that you called it a make. But woof. Mrs. picked up a few dresses. Yes, Lululemon is a fantastic brand, highly sought after here in the States. Um, Lululemon has a style name for every Piece little garment thing they have. And people search by those style names. So once you have fallen down the rabbit hole for about 30 seconds and you've realized you are quickly in over your head, go into uh, the Facebook group. Um, if you all don't know the Facebook group that's in my Instagram bio, go into that group and post a picture of that dress and ask nicely and somebody will help you because there is absolutely a style name for that dress and you need to know it. Uh, Nordstrom Rack hates resellers. Yes. Yes. Don't tell them you're reselling at Nordstrom Rack. I suggest if you continue wanting to use Nordstrom Rack as a resale purpose, don't buy a lot of items on there. Be yeah. very selective what you get. Don't just fill up your cart well, because they will flag you. And if you're going there and you're using the Nordstrom Rack card to they can gain tell. points, yeah. then they're probably going to frown upon yeah. that. Yeah, I don't use so their just, card. So just be careful with it. Yeah. And you don't want to take advantage of it. They don't want people coming in and clearing the racks. They don't want people coming in and buying all that. Yeah. Why should they care? Because they have regular customers who then wait for that Nordstrom Rack clear the rack sale, and they're excited to come in. They're excited to come in and, you know, find a new dress or a new shirt. They don't want a bunch of stuff. So but then when that person comes in and a reseller has already come and cleared the rack, mm -hmm. that person is disappointed. And that person buys from them all the time at full retail, yeah. unlike us that only buy when it's $4. So they really want to keep that lady who spends $3,000 every time she comes in on three items, they'd like to keep her happy. That's why they care. Yeah. Uh, yes, pay cash. Yeah, I'm always very selective at the Nordstrom Rack. I always yeah. just pick and choose a few good things that I know I could turn a big profit on, and um, I don't get yeah. too greedy. Yeah, clear the rack doesn't want people to clear the rack. Exact, but it's I know it's called clear the rack. Yeah. Exactly, but yeah, they'd like you not to. Um, but if you are seeing everybody talk about these great Nordstrom rack finds, or you know Nike finds or whatever, and you're like, I don't have that store in my town. Nordstrom rack is online. Their clear the rack sale is online. That same stuff that everybody else is getting. Fighting for. Fighting for. The driving thing, to the store for. Standing in line. Mm -hmm. You can prop, find out when the clear the rack sale starts. Mm -hmm. Get on your computer bright and early because that stuff will sell out online. Mm -hmm. But you can shop it from your house in your pajamas with your coffee. Just and have it, it shipped right to your home. And have it shipped directly to you. So all of those kinds of places have a lot of people return if they don't sell after 30 days. Exactly. I will research Lululemon at a good hour. Oh, 99. 
oh, I was going to do a 99 pound auction. Please don't auction them before you find out what they are. Um, so, yes, all those stores have auctions. Sorry, I lost it there for a second, but it came right back. I, I, I noticed. I it saw was the, okay. I saw the lasso Ooh. right out there. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, uh, all the stores have clearance sites online. Mm -hmm. um, Walmart has a has great clearance online. Somebody already mentioned doing the Amazon to eBay flip. Which is probably my favorite. Mm -hmm. I just kind of love it. It's for some, yeah. Everybody always talks about doing the eBay to Amazon flip. Mm -hmm. But you can flip Amazon to eBay mm -hmm. all day long. Um, you just, you got to get on there and search. Yeah. You got to look it up. Yeah, people undersell <laughs> stuff on Amazon just as much as they undersell stuff on eBay. Yes. There's deals to be had Amazon oh, and yeah. eBay. Absolutely. So on Amazon, when I'm scrolling through, I'll just pick an item that is something I'm interested in, whatever um, I happen to think about that day, and I look for a... We don't have Prime. No, we don't have Prime. Mm -hmm. So I just spend $25 so they'll ship it to me for free because I won't spend $99 to get a Prime membership because I'm that cheap. Truth. Um, so I just look for items that have a wide range in price. So I was looking at um, bathing suits the other day, and I was looking at then the items that, like one bathing suit was anywhere between $4 and $64. Hmm. That's a good item, because one of them in there then, there's a size and a color variation, that's $4. And that suit normally sells for $64. Those are the kinds of things you're looking for. Good tip. On the topic of sourcing, what do you guys say when someone says, what's all this for when purchasing from a thrift? You know what? We have found that if you if you just kind of stand back for a second, they'll fill in the blank for you. And then it just ruins them. Yeah, they'll say, are, what are you guys doing with all of this? <laughs> and someone, are, said, <laughs> someone said, you're getting a new job. Yeah, and we were like, yep. yep. She goes, new job or new wardrobe? And I said both. Yep. So whatever they say, we just agree with them. Yeah. Makes them happy. And if they don't fill in, a, fill in the break, I just say, well, I just got, you know, a little of this and a little of that. I yeah. just keep it kind of vague. Yeah. I will got to re research U.S. makes or labels. Labels, yes, brands. Kind of get some. Kind of get some more wine for your next sourcing word. Well, non-brand swimsuits sell. Non-brand swimsuits mm. um, are hard on eBay. If it's a cute style and you share a lot on Poshmark, then you could. So you don't use a business credit card. Um, we do. Yeah, but I don't know what... I'm not handing them my credit no, card. No, most of them have the chip reader now, and you swipe it over there, so they don't even see what it is. Yeah, I'm a bargain shopper. Yeah, absolutely. My dad tells them we are hoarders. <laughs> I love that. I may use that one. I started lying at Toys R Us. My brother's having twins, a boy and a girl. Can't believe how easily it came you know, out. No, it doesn't matter. You know what, the thing is to remember, people don't really care what you're doing. They're just trying to be nice. They're trying to be... At the Goodwill, uh, Nordstrom <laughs> Rack, I think, might be a little yeah. more. But most I always, places... I always have something cooking upstairs you're if so they ask awful. me. Not me. I do. You know what, I I try to... Um, I always say they make great gifts. That's, yep, that's exactly yeah, what I was going to say. I try to engage them in conversation before they get there. Mm -hmm. So I'll say something like, you know, is this really going to be 25% off? Or what price did that ring up? Or I wish you would have had, you know, this in black because I really like it. So I just try to keep the conversation going in a way that I want to go So because I don't like to lie. So um, how do you source to list 100 plus items a day? You just source a lot. And you do retail, you do online, you do wholesale, you do everything. It depends on what opportunities you have near yeah. you. I would say prepping for zombie apocalypse. There you go. I shop for a lot of people. One lady said you must have a lot of brothers and sisters. Yep. Yep. That's <laughs> I, what you think. I That's say that I is. have nieces and nephews, which is true. Exactly. I, yeah, I've got nieces, whatever. Um, so, yes. Yeah, so, we shop Amazon. Mm -hmm. We shop eBay. Mm -hmm. eBay, great deals. Great deals on eBay. Right now, eBay is a buyer's market. Yes. People are under, undervaluing items all the time on eBay. You can get great deals yeah. to flip back mm -hmm. on eBay. Mm -hmm. 
I was just looking, and I was going to show, but then I was afraid that the person was going to be an Instagrammer. And we have sold, I should say, we have sold items to people who have then flipped them for more money. Mm -hmm. More times than I am sure we can count. Oh, yeah. So there's no shame in that at all. Sometimes you just underpriced it. Sometimes you made a mistake. Sometimes you didn't know. Sometimes you're just trying to clear it out. And you can't sell it. And good for them that they can. Sometimes so, a rent's due. And you got to sell. Yeah. So. Yeah. Ours wouldn't be rent. It would be the mortgage company. But yeah, same difference. Whatever. Um, yeah. yeah. Sometimes, yeah, the car blows yeah. up or whatever. Things happen. So no shame to that. Um, I definitely sell books to other flippers. Yeah. Totally. It, you know, as long as I get my money, I don't really care. Yeah, I don't care. So, but I found a jacket that had sold on eBay for $10 total. So $10 including shipping. And then I found a... The, the same exact the jacket. The same exact jacket had sold a week later for $199. So somebody bought it for 10 bucks. Delivered to their house. Delivered to their house and made a hundred and. $89 profit in a week. And the nice thing with eBay, if you're buying clothing, if it's damaged, you can return it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It, it happens. I know we hate it as resellers when it happens to us. But but you go to a Goodwill or Salvation Army. And a lot of times you can't return it. A lot of times you can't return it. Salvation yeah. Armies especially. Goodwills I think you can, but yeah. you can't yeah. keep the tag on there, whatever, but... Yeah, what do you think about Alibaba? I just learned about it. My fear is stuff is garbage quality and don't want to sell bad stuff. Um, order a single mm -hmm. before you order a bunch. And with Alibaba, be careful because a lot of those sellers that are selling on Alibaba sell on eBay as well. A lot yeah. of those manufacturers. So. so sometimes you can source there to the sell in, than a different platform or maybe sell somewhere else mm -hmm. or whatever. Um, but a lot of times, yeah, you can buy it cheaper on eBay than you can buy it on Alibaba. Um, hearing you guys say you sometimes sell low makes me feel better. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes you just need to get sales going. Absolutely. Yeah, it happens. This is, um, this is part of the business. But yes, I have, uh, I have, we have bought from Alibaba before. We have sourced in directly from China and we've had good stuff and we, then we've had junk. We've had both sides of that coin. Good night, Carl. Um, bulk. So another then, all right. So now switching to wholesale. Alibaba would be wholesale. Mm. A lot of fakes on Alibaba. Yes. And you do not want to sell a fake. Um, bulk. Bulk is, yes, Anne says, mainly target returns, clearance, liquidation. Um, eBay does promote them. Mm. A lot of times, you know, there's some good deals there. You have to be very aware of what you're getting. They do, though, have a, mani a manifest. We don't like to buy wholesale without a manifest. Yeah. I'm not buying a blind lot of wholesale items. I want to know what's in there. I yeah. want to know. I want to be able to formulate, is this profitable or not? Yeah. And a manifest is just a written list of everything that you're getting. Mm -hmm. So we don't like to buy without a manifest. Bulk does give you a manifest. If you're looking for other wholesalers... Um, Product Sourcing 101 is a Facebook site with all sorts of wholesalers. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. When wholesale is not open to public, what do you need to purchase? A retail... Yes, yes, yes. You've got to have a retail certificate. Resale. A re what did I say? Retail. Oops. Resale. That's okay. Um, you know what you meant. Everyone drink. Everybody drink. <laughs> so, yeah. And a lot of wholesalers will sell to you direct. Without anything, they just want your money. Um, a great thing to do right now, right now, ASD. What does ASD stand for? I have no idea. ASD, that's a disease. Sourcing director, I don't know. Anyway, ASD is the big wholesale show in Las Vegas. It happens twice a year. Happens to be happening starting tomorrow. There's one in March and then there's one in July. Um... Be aware that a lot of times the wholesalers manifest original price can be inflated. Very, very true. Yes, so ASD is tomorrow in Vegas. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go to Vegas, though. You can shop ASD wholesale right from your computer. So if you Google ASD Las Vegas, click on vendor directory, 
you're going to see all of the vendors that are at ASD right now. Most of them have websites that then you can scroll through, look at all of their products, give them a call, ask them, do I need to have the, um, the resale certificate? Golly, up. Right? Drink, drink. Um, but just ask them. You know, worst they're going to say is yes and you don't have it. Okay. But if you call, if you do this within the next week, if you go on to ASD, find a wholesaler that you think maybe you want to try. A lot of them have ASD discounts. <coughs> Excuse me. That they will give to people who just call them over the phone. So if you call and you say, hey, do you have an ASD discount available? A lot of them will give that to you. So you can find all sorts of wholesale stuff there. No more drinking for you, Cindy. I seriously, I haven't even. No, I. I she's not. She's not drinking. This is just all natural. Mm -hmm. This is called eight thirty on a Saturday night. Mm -hmm. She's usually sleeping by now. Um. So definitely look into ASD if you're looking for wholesale. And if you're gonna start, if you're gonna do wholesale lots, um, they do have different size lots. Yes. A lot of them have different size lots. You could buy a huge lot. Yes. Or you could buy smaller lots. Start yeah. with the smaller lot. Yeah. Um, don't, don't go in over your head. A pallet is very big. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, so don't get in so far deep yeah. that then you're not going to be able to source for three months and you're going to, you well, know. It, it's like everything in, the, in, the, in this business we're in. you got to take little baby steps. Mm -hmm. The people who take giant leaps tend to overextend themselves and you got to go in and test it first see if it works yeah yeah and reach out to people now if you go on your instagram story and you say has anybody bought from jack sparrow's liquidation then yeah you're going to get a lot of replies but you're also going to have told the entire world to go to jack sparrow's liquidation yeah and if you find a good wholesaler Keep it close to your heart. People don't talk about that for a reason because they're hard to find. Yeah. And, you know. Yeah, we don't expect you to tell us. And, you know, you're not, I don't want to sound like we're not trying to be helpful to the community or not, but some of this stuff. It's it, proprietary. It, it's proprietary. We're yeah. a business. And if you're finding a way to make money. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Listing wholesale sounds very boring, just my opinion. Yeah. And it can be. Are prices often negotiable? Not generally in wholesale. Mm -hmm. um, I look for liquidations that offer lots. Yes. So you want to absolutely check it out. But if you did find one and you're like, hmm, go online, you know, type in whatever Jack Sparrow's liquidation reviews into Google, read some of the reviews. Sure, they're on there. You also have to pay attention because a lot of them will say their returns. Customer returns and shelf pulls are two totally different things. A customer return lot is going to be far more damaged than a shelf pull lot. Mm -hmm. um, understand that every company has an acceptable defect rate for your lot. So they expect a certain percentage of the items that they send you to be completely unsellable. Understand what that percentage is for yeah. the wholesaler that you're working with. Yeah. And yeah. go into it knowing that. I got an epic wholesaler for my private label items on my main store. No one gets any. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah, you don't. Because you have put time and money and effort into finding that. Right. Um, so, yeah, but all of that information is in your computer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just do do a little bit of research and um, yeah, um, well, so now so that's basically wholesale. Mm -hmm. Go in slow, watch your defect rates, watch your you know shelf pulls, all of that. Um, do you know how to find local liquidators for clothing? I live in San Antonio, so my city is pretty big, but when I search online, it gives me national ones. So. A lot of the local liquidation places will actually have auctions. So you can go to auctionzip.com and then um, just put in your zip code and look for liquidation lots. 
because a lot of times they will auction those off. Um, government deals is another auction. Mm -hmm. All of our, all of our U.S. state friends here, mm -hmm. everybody in the states will have, um, the government auction stuff off. And I know a lot of people that have gone there, bid on stuff, got great deals, made lots of money. Goodwill online. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of other things that I don't want to miss out on. I've seen a lot of people on Instagram that have gotten bad wholesale lots that were like return lots and they were kind of, yeah. Yeah, you got to be careful. And, and that's why I said, and Cindy has said, have said, make sure they have a um, manifest. manifest, a bill lighting with it so you know what's in there. Yeah, and then understand that not everybody's like you. So like I wouldn't wear something, put a ginormous hole in it, and, take, and try to return it back to the store smelling and gross. But there are a lot of people that do. And those customer returns wind up in wholesale lots. Mm -hmm. You know, I've seen a lot of stuff at Nordstrom's where, you know, the, ta uh, the inside tags have been removed and replaced with a different brand. Stuff has been clearly worn. Icky, icky. UK government auction old cars but tend to be drug dealer mm -hmm. cars or others yeah it can be shady stuff they, but they do that here in the states too uh, Wolf and yeah. you know people can take those cars and they can part them out mm -hmm. and they can sell parts of well, those cars and the government also takes stuff back from people who evade taxes and mm -hmm. you know I, I don't think about where it comes from a lot of wholesalers sell online themselves, so stuff may be cherry-picked. If you are buying from um, a wholesaler, I don't know how to report somebody while we're online, oh. but we're going to have to figure that out. Um, if oh, you, to Jay? Yeah. Hi, Jay. Uh, um, I do wholesale and retail arbitrage here and there, but at the end of the day, everything's fair. Yeah, so... I think he's 12 years old. Probably. If, if, thank you, Erica. I think he's 12 years old. Oh, no, guess. Stop. Oh, my God. Now you have totally made me lose my train of thought. I'm gonna... It's a great... Yes, police auction site. Yes. Profits come from second hand I've handpicked. Thank you, guys. Um, so, yeah, don't, don't forget about all of those places that you can source just online. Um, a lot of times those places are actually cheaper than your wholesale lots. A lot of the wholesale, you know, everybody kind of thinks that we should go, you should go wholesale. That's mm -hmm. your next big move is go wholesale. You're going to get this wholesale lot and then you're going to have all this money. Um, not necessarily true. Yeah, not necessarily true. It's, it's just not. USA's, thank you. USA seems more of a place to move to. Um, so yeah, you, it's just not necessarily the truth because a lot of times we have seen those wholesale items, the individual prices are actually higher than what we could get them, mm -hmm. cherry picking them at an outlet store or on clearance or that sort of thing. Um, I did wholesale before I got into secondhand and make way more money now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and if you do wholesale, you can get into a repeatable item. Mm -hmm. And repeatables are great, are great to scale up your business. Yeah, but it can be a it can be a boring. You know, you're just kind of going through the motions. So it just all depends on you know what you have available and um, what is in your area, what you like to do. You know, if you're having problems finding stuff. It can be a good option to you, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so, yeah. Any other things that you guys can think of that we should hit on before we run out of time? Thank you. Anybody, anybody, anybody? Do you have anything else or have you, I completely lost you tonight? I, I was lost before we even started. Really? Mm -hmm. Really, really, really. That yeah. is awesome. I'm just here to spice up the whole video. Spice it up, huh? Spice it up.
Oh my goodness gracious. Um, if you guys have any questions about sourcing, sourcing in small towns. Source, so yeah, if you're sourcing in a small town, you may have to look more into, check out Mercari. Um, well, you got different opportunities in small towns. Don't think that you live in a small town, you don't have sourcing opportunities. Yeah, so you may have to source different product or whatever, mm -hmm. but you may have to, if you want to like sell clothing, that's what you love, whatever, you're probably going to have to source more online. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to get really good at watching newly listed items on Poshmark, on uh, Let Go, on Facebook Marketplace. Just because it's Facebook Marketplace does not mean people won't ship. So get on there and just say, hey, if I pay the shipping, will you ship? Um, you're, Craigslist. You're losing your train today. I know. I'm, you're just not focused. I'm not focused today. Maybe I S should have drunk. Small towns... Opportunities like with um, vintage items, yeah. a lot of vintage in small towns, garage sales in small towns are going to be killer. Yeah. You're going to get great prices at those garage sales. Um, how are you liking Mercari? Um, I like Mercari. I think Mercari right now, though, is a... Uh, we're still in the experimental stage. But for right right now, I think that it's better for sourcing maybe than for selling. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen a lot of great deals on Mercari. If you guys aren't sourcing Mercari, then oh, then oh. you are missing out. Do you think Goodwill price have increased to the point of... Uh, on some items, yes. Oh my God, no. Absolutely. Some items are priced too high. But they miss stuff also. Give your name and number at sales for a bulk cleanup. Absolutely. Barn sales, yard sales. Um, dumpster diving where that is allowed. Run ads. Yes. Post your friends and family that you're buying clothes. So if you walk up to a garage sale, an estate sale, and you think the prices are high but they have a lot of great items, that's where you give them your name and number. And you say, hey, um, you know, if you don't sell, give me a call. Give me a call or whatever, and I'll buy out what you don't sell. Or I do closet buyouts, or I do estate buyouts, and start getting your your name out there. So we have a kid who's being noisy too. This whole night. See what happens when we decide to record to YouTube. Hi YouTube. It's not usually this loud, or I'm focused. It's all good. It's all crazy because, you know, on if you're watching us on YouTube, this was originally recorded on Instagram, and you can't see all the comments. So you have no idea what went down here that made us so unfocused. So you should join us on Instagram so that you, too, can see the comments. The comments were great. <laughs> we just had a couple that kind of threw me tonight. Yeah, it was just one. Uh, can you post on a listing that you will buy items? Not on eBay. Absolutely not. No. No, 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 no. Not on eBay. Yeah, do not post anything on eBay that will take traffic off of eBay. Yes, they Don't, are not happy bad, about that. Bad, bad, bad. And if the items are lower priced, you can lot them up and sell them on eBay. Yeah, don't be afraid of the lots. Um, and then, oh, we have like three minutes. Um... Pay attention on eBay if you're trying to source on eBay for items that are in the wrong category. Or misspelled. Or misspelled. eBay is auto-pushing people into categories mm -hmm. as buyers. So, like, let's say you have a pair of shoes that are sandals with a heel. Mm -hmm. And so you're looking, they're really sandals, but that person has them in heels. The buyer that's typing in sandals is never going to see them. Hmm. Interesting. Heel sandals. And girls have, know what that is. Who would have thought? Is that a thing? Yes. Hmm. eBay has local pickup, but most wouldn't recommend it. Yeah. Do you guys use separate accounts for buying and sourcing? No. No. I will buy on our other accounts occasionally if, I'm, if I happen to be signed into that account, but generally no. Yes, fatfingers.com is great for misspellings on eBay. Um... A lot of those 
will auto correct now. Used to be a whole lot easier to do that. Also, uh, sniping auctions. Snipe your auctions, easy sniper. That's what we use. That'll go in for you and bid in the last four seconds. So, but we have to get. Instagram's gonna shut us down. They only give us an hour, so we have to go. It's been fun, guys. Bye. Join have us Monday weekend. morning. Set your clocks ahead. Set your clocks ahead. Join us Monday morning, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. We'll be back to our regular, regular scheduled. The regular circus. Craziness. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Safe, you know, safe.